Hi everyone. In this session, we will discuss about synchronization examples. Okay. So the following are the examples of synchronization. They are nothing but first one is Solaris, second one is Windows XP, third Linux, and the fourth one is P threads. Okay. We will see them each in detail one by one. So first, we will start with Solaris synchronization. What is Solaris synchronization? So the first one is we will see that. So the Solaris synchronization it implements a variety of locks to support multitasking, multi-threading, and multi-processing. So the Solaris synchronization. The first point we are discussing about the first point. The Solaris synchronization it implements a variety of locks to support multitasking, multi-threading, and multi-processing. And coming to the second one, it uses adaptive mutex for efficiency when producing data from short code segments. It uses adaptive mutex for efficiency when producing data from short code segments. Okay, and the third point says it uses conditional variables. and readers writer logs when longer sections of code need access to data so when longer sections of code need to access the data so it uses condition variable as well as reader writer logs okay and the last point is it uses turnstiles to order the list of threads waiting to acquire either an adaptive mutex or reader writer lock okay so this is about solaris synchronization and uh, coming to the next one that is windows xp synchronization so the first point it says uh, it uses interrupt masks to protect access to global resources on uni processor systems it uses interrupt masks to protect access to global resources on uni processor systems and the second one is it uses spin locks on multi processor systems and the third point is it also provides dispatcher objects which may act as either mutex or semaphore okay and the last one is the dispatcher objects may also provide events okay that is about uh, the windows xp synchronization and come to the third one it is linux synchronization so here uh, the linux synchronization is nothing but it disables interrupts to implement short critical section so in order to uh, it uh, what it will do is in order to implement short critical section it disables the interrupt so you know what is an interrupt an interrupt is nothing but an interrupt is a signal sent by the io devices so here the linux provides semaphore and spin locks and coming to the last one it is nothing but p threads synchronization so here the p threads uh, api is operating system independent and they also provide mutex lock and conditional variables and coming to the non portable extensions the non portable extensions includes read write locks and spin locks okay so uh, these are these are uh, the some of the examples of synchronization okay thank you